Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes on this Sunday evening. Just want to quickly let you know that tomorrow night at the Bay Point Blue Point Library, Bayport Blue Point Library in Bayport Blue Point, New York, uh, we are going to have a virtual library presentation. I'll be doing it on Zoom video there, and you can be part of this by just registering at BaypointBluePointLibrary.org, and that's at 6:30 tomorrow night. So uh, do by all means. It's open to anyone. Just go to that website, BaypointBluePointLibrary.org, and register to uh, be part of the presentation. So let's uh, take a look at what is going on. And of course, we have Paulette, which is a strengthening hurricane and on its way probably to becoming a major hurricane as it crosses over the island of Bermuda from the southeast Monday morning. And as you notice on the satellite on the far right, the eye is becoming very well defined and it, uh, Paulette has been strengthening all day. There was wind shear that was holding it back, but that has uh, diminished. Also, we have Tropical Storm Sally in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico, moving to the west-northwest and headed for a rendezvous into southeastern Louisiana. It's going to be coming in from the southeast, and that is a perilous direction for tropical systems to come in uh, into southeastern Louisiana because of the impact of the storm surge into Lake Pontchartrain, which could cause a considerable amount of uh, of storm surge flooding. So uh, that is going to be watched to see what happens in terms of strength, because I think Sally is going to slow down and probably strengthen before it uh, does make landfall. In the meantime, you can see the clouds that are in the northeast and running southwestward. That is the next cold front, and it's a weak one that is moving on through. Also notice the, the grayish looking clouds, that, what look like clouds, that's actually the smoke from the wildfires and look how extensive it is running down across Southern California and then running northeast toward the lower Great Lakes. There's another band of smoke that is moving across the uh, uh, northwest and through the northern plains and into the western Great Lakes. And that smoke band, by the way, goes all the way out of the Pacific Ocean. Now, there is some hope here that if you notice those uh, brighter white clouds, those are in association with a rather strong upper air storm system that's moving eastward. And perhaps that could bring uh, a little bit of rain to parts of the western United States that are being so horribly plagued by these wildfires. So as far as a close-up view here, here's Paulette uh, on the uh, satellite loop. You see the eye well-defined. We go from the visible to the nighttime infrared image, and thunderstorms are really blossoming around that center as it heads toward the island of Bermuda. Again, uh, weather conditions there are already deteriorating. And here is Sally, which is also seeing its own burst of convection late this afternoon uh, and this evening on the uh, eastern side of the low center. And actually, when I looked at the wind field, what was going on wind-wise in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, the area of gales is rather extensive. This is not a small system by any means. In fact, even though the center is halfway across the, uh, the uh, Gulf, halfway between Florida and southeast Louisiana, they're still getting heavy rains in parts of uh, coastal south of uh, uh, coastal uh, western florida and of course you see that the rain is even heavier but that that's offshore and there it is on the surface map on the plot it's about halfway across rainfall amounts uh, going into this week across the northeast down into the mid-atlantic states it gets a little bit more robust uh, and this is for down the road not so much for the week itself because i think the week is going to be dry but this may be more toward the weekend and into next week and we're seeing an area of very heavy rains of 10 to 20 inches being indicated for parts of southeast louisiana because of the slow movement of this uh, tropical storm uh, sally so uh, here we are on the upper air so let's take a look at where our weather is going to be going forward here in the northeast and mid-atlantic states and fortunately we have this dominating flow from Canada from the Northwest. And that's pretty much gonna hold. There'll be some relaxation from time to time, 
uh, and then at times it'll dip southward. But as a whole, with those northwest winds aloft, it's not going to be uh, uh, open to the possibility of any of these tropical systems out in the Atlantic to try to come up the eastern seaboard, because as soon as one short wave pops out, moves out, another one drops in later this week and into this coming weekend. And in the meantime, in terms of the actual day-to-day -day weather, it's going to be uh, nice and cool to start off this week. We may warm up briefly going into Thursday ahead of the next weather front and then cool down again for Friday and into Saturday. This is the last uh, week of the summer. And you can see the, that northwest flow uh, just sending short wave trough after short wave trough right through the next 10 days. And while it's doing that, it not only can't get hot, but also the rainfall amounts that we're going to see here are going to be on the smallish side. So we're looking at it on the surface map uh, as we'll uh, back up on the uh, the GFS model here, the new GFS, and we'll just take a quick look. Now, our weather front tonight, everything seems to be falling apart with what's on the radar with the showers to the west. You see Paulette on the right. You see Sally uh, in the Gulf of Mexico moving uh, toward Louisiana. And then high pressure just builds in for tomorrow and Tuesday. Uh, it moves out on Wednesday. Another cold front arrives late Thursday. The remnants of Sally move offshore. And then Friday and Saturday, we have another high that we're going to uh, enjoy. So taking a look at uh, some of the high temperatures that you can expect in the coming days, uh, we're looking at uh, highs for Monday for tomorrow are going to be Mostly in the middle to upper 70s with a good deal of sunshine. And then Tuesday, after a night that will take us down into the 40s and 50s, Tuesday is going to be quite cool here. Temperatures only topping out from northeast Virginia to southern New England. Highs are only going to be in the upper 60s and low 70s. We'll start to inch up a little bit on Wednesday, middle to upper 70s. Thursday, ahead of the next cold front, we'll see high temperatures reaching up. Uh, to around or just over the 80 degree mark, only to cool down again uh, into the lower and middle 70s for Friday and only in the 60s for highs next Saturday. So uh, definitely uh, finishing off the summer on a, on a cool note overall. No rain of consequence in the forecast this week. We should have nice weather Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Maybe a late day shower on Thursday and then follow that with the dry weather again for Friday and to start the weekend, unless we get some kind of surprise if some of that southern moisture were to sneak up a bit. But I really don't see that happening with the next high building on in. So uh, we're looking good this week. I hope you had a great weekend, and uh, we will see you uh, tomorrow uh, as we uh, have our presentation again, uh, Bayport Blue po Bayport BluePointLibrary.org if you want to register for it. It's free. And uh, you can watch it virtually from home. And uh, we'll be here tomorrow night with the Joe and Joe Weather Show right after that library presentation is over. So that'll be probably around 8 o'clock Eastern time.